In this video, I'm going to be talking about conservative Jews, Masoreti Jews, and what is like, what's their experience, and what it looks like for them. I feel like in a sense, talking about being conservative is so hard because there are no lines to define it. But I can do my best and share my experience on someone who defines herself as a conservative or a Jew. So basically the thing that I want to make clear about Judaism is that in Judaism, everyone's equal. All Jews are equal. There's no someone who is better than another one and if you do more mitzvahs it doesn't make you better than anyone else as long as you are Jewish you are equal and you can do your effort and you can do your best uh, but all Jews are equal and as long as you're Jewish you're Jewish conservative Jews are people who do follow tradition in a sense but they do only what that they believe in and what they're comfortable with. And I'll give you an example. For the most part, conservative Jews, and I do that as well, uh, they keep kosher, meaning that they won't eat meat and dairy together, they won't eat shrimp, they won't eat pork, but they wouldn't mind to go to a restaurant that is not kosher as long as they have um you know dishes that are kosher but don't have a certificate or another things that jews do conservative jews do and i do that as well is to do kiddush on saturday night on shabbat but not actually keep shabbat itself or partly keep Shabbat itself and I explained it partly people on Shabbat you're not supposed to light lights you're not supposed to do anything that's creating or like work and stuff like that conservative people will definitely not work on Saturday night but for the most part they won't have a problem using electricity uh, they might not drive cars or light fires but they wouldn't mind, you know, going out and traveling. So they do what, again, they're comfortable with. Yet yeah, Judaism and the Jewish identity is a part of their life and it's important to them. And I feel like for me, for years, I've looked for what would be right for me to be, whether I should be religious, whether I should be secular. And I've been both for a long time, I've been secular. And for a while I've been religious and I've kept Shabbat completely. But I never felt in my own skin the most as I've felt as someone who's defined herself as conservative. And I do keep holidays and I do celebrate holidays and I do fast on Yom Kippur, but I won't necessarily uh, fast on other fasts that there are in Judaism. I will always do what is clear that the Bible wants and is not an interpretation of someone. And I will do what I believe is right for the most part, what I can make sense with, and what I think is right for me. And that's what most conservative Jews do now again clearly there's a spectrum and everyone's different but that's basically what conservative life is like and again in Judaism you're not better than anyone if you do keep Shabbat or you don't keep Shabbat that's your business and do whatever you feel like doing a Jew is a Jew and it doesn't mean you have to be more connected to your community or less connected to the community or even if you don't do anything at all, if you were born Jewish, then you're Jewish. And that's it. We're all equal. You don't have to do anything to be Jewish. And that's what I think is beautiful about Judaism. So I really hope that 
I could give you guys a little glimpse of what it looks like to be conservative and what it means to be conservative. And please leave a friendly comment. That's my fuel. That's what I love the most. And have a good one.